For young executives who would like to join the profession, what is your advice? I think、uh, to be focused.、Uh, at the same time, it might be how should I say? It might be、um, contradictory, but you have to be focused at the same time. But you do have to keep an open mind. Uh, uh, I think sometimes young people have a very set idea of what they should do: step one, step two, step three. But things in the real world doesn't always happen that way, and、um, you have to be able to roll with the punches. Sometimes there might be setback and not be discouraged by that.、Um, I think、uh, it's very important to believe in yourself,、um, and that the self confidence part. And in order to be able to believe in yourself, you have to be good in what you do. Hard work, and I say that with all seriousness. I think it's. Something that's said very often, particularly in hedge funds, it's hard work. It's, you know, it's if it's a good hedge fund, it's, if it's a successful hedge fund, it still be will be with a relatively small team. We do run, as an industry, we tend to run a very lean organization. We expect a lot of our staff at all levels, from partner down to to associate and to to analyst. Uh, I think one of the, the the key things I look for when I'm hiring staff is what I call entrepreneurship. It's beyond that、um, that knowledge, that base knowledge, because everyone I mean not everyone, but I see so many people in Hong Kong and smart young people who are very well educated and very very intellectual. But people that I I want and people that hedge fund wants, generally we want someone who can take it that step further and. Think laterally, think problem solve. Not just worry about day to day what they have to do or what they're told to do, but really understand the business and their role in the business and the success of the business and how they can make the business better. And that's what I call entrepreneurship. And those are the it's those individuals that、uh, that I see as as absolutely key to to this success. And it's those individuals that can start in one. Take one opportunity in one of my businesses, in, in a business, but then move somewhere else because I know they have the ability to expand themselves, develop, grow, and they could start in operations and end up in risk control, or they could start in operations and end up in fund management, if they show that proper level of of entrepreneurship, that willingness to to work with the business and understand it. I think、um, if there is one advice that I can give, and that will be、uh, open your eyes. To what is happening around you,、uh, not just in your work, but in your community, in the world. I think at the end of the day, that enrich you, and then also、um, it brings you、um, different perspective and helps you in, in the end of the day, doing your work better.、Uh, I'm not sure what a life philosophy is. I think I don't, and I don't, I don't have a motto. What's my philosophy? I. I apply to everybody I know, and it's,、uh, that includes people that, that work for me, work with me, and but friends,、um, fellow competitors, colleagues, whatever. I would never criticize someone for failure or for not so not failure for not succeeding, but I would criticize them if they didn't give a hundred percent trying. That's the difference.、Um, I also have a I have a motto, I guess, and people get tired of it. But I also think it's very important to learn at least one thing a day, because you should never stop. You should go at the end of the day and think, you know what? I learned that today, because it doesn't matter how experienced you are, or how long you've been around. There's far more things to learn than you're ever going to know. So you have to come out every day and think that was a good day because I learned that.、Um, I think one does have to be very organized and very focused, and、um, the other thing is I. I think it's important not to take yourself too seriously, not to get carried away by your title. You know, I think、um, sometimes people, men or women, get carried away by their own title, and then they kind of lose touch with、uh, reality. What is your life philosophy? Do you have a personal motto?、Uh, if there is one, I would say "Carpe Diem," the Latin term for "seize the day," and I think there are opportunities. Every day, everywhere,、um, and we do have to、um, treasure what we have and take advantage of whatever is presented to us. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how extreme. I, I, people think it's extreme. I, I tend at the moment to focus on ultramarathoning, so that, and generally what I do are multi stage, long distance running across deserts in particular. Uh, I do other adventure racing, I do 100 kilometer races in Hong Kong, but I really find doing multi stage, multi day, going out and running across very extreme environments with no one to rely on but myself, very challenging. Uh, the reason I do it, uh, I'm not sure. I do some of it to prove I still can. I think I do some of it to prove that I can still challenge myself. And I think I also do it because, as I mentioned before, very, when you're running a business and you're working in a business, the success of the business is really about you. But when you're really out there doing an ultramarathon in the desert, it's really up to me. It's only me. And it's the one time that I can, I can spend or the one thing I can do that I really have to rely on myself and, and my abilities. And that's probably why I do it. Thank you for joining us today. See you next time.